All right, so you're thinking about moving up in the world in Ark Knights. You're thinking about the big leagues, the E2, the Elite 2s. Maybe you've checked out a couple of guys like I did, videos and written guides, and they're all great and all, but one thing was always missing in these guides or they were just outdated. Enough with the chit chat, I'm gonna tell you how to save your sanity as well as your battery health, and most importantly, your time, and of course, which operator you should prioritize to E2, so let's get right into it. First and foremost, I wanna open up with a question. When is the right time to E2 your operator? The answer depends on so many variables. For me, personally, I don't have an E2 on this account. And as I was playing, I have gathered enough resources, materials to E2 my Eiffiala. Yeah, I think I said it right for the first time. <laughs> Now, for some other folks, they are pushing E2 to unlock the operator's artwork, the E2 artwork. And I don't blame them because it looks amazing. For other folks, they want to feel the power spike. Maybe they need the power spike to carry them because they're not too familiar with the game. And no one is going to blame them for wanting, you know, the uh, get out of jail free card. Whatever the reason may be, we need to do it smart and efficiently. So let's go into the promotion tab. Now, if you're going to prioritize E2 to a six star of yours, you're going to unlock not only one additional talent, but another skill as well. And the boost is going to be significant. And yes, it's going to depend on which operator you decided to choose to push to E2. The power spike is there. We cannot deny that, but we'll talk about that in the latter portion of the video. So first things first, I asked you guys, when is the right time? Let's talk about the prerequisites. So we need to have the LMDs, the easiest part, 180K. That's not even counting the LMDs that you need to level up this operator, this E1 operator to level 80. It's, it's going to require a lot. For a four-star operator to go to E2, it's going to take about 2,000 sanity on average. For a five-star, 4,000. For a six-star, it's going to be about 6,000 thousand sanity points Woo, that's a lot we can reduce that sanity point further down in terms of getting your lmds as well as exp you need to be efficient top-notch efficiency so i highly advise when it comes to timing i highly advise if you're at least ls4 if you're in ls5 that is a prime time to start grinding for your e2 operator and the same thing of course applies to your cargo escort as well ce4 ce5 is like the prime time not only that you must get the chips the level two chips so make sure well you have to actually clear this stuff so once your team is able to clear this with your e1 operators it's time to go another prerequisite is that you need to have your control center to level four as well as your workshop level three and factory level three now the reason why you need factory level three is simple you need to create the dual chips and the only way to do that is by unlocking factory level three so what you got to do is beat the chip level two the type that you need for your operator get eight of those bad boys and fuse them up up in your factory and i'll show you guys where you can get these in the store as well now the hard part is this part right here these two big bad boys so you need this blue teal box with vials in them and this mechanical switch or whatever this red thing i don't i can't read it by its name all right let, let, let me try polymerization preparation as well as optimized device and these are high tier materials that you fuse the lower tiers into this mega tier material and they're not easy to get and this is where you really lose the real life sanity as well as the in-game sanity however before busting open your campaign window and browsing through which stage you need to go back to to farm over and over again and busting your balls go back just go back go to the store Go to, no, 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 no. Don't get your credit card out. That's not what I meant. Don't draw your firearms. Go into the certificate. Now I'm going to hide my ugly and beautiful face away for now, but let me, let me turn it off real quick. And over here in the commendations, the green boys, whether you're free to play or a light spender, by the time it's time for you to promote your first operator to E2, maybe for your second E2, you're going to unlock the second tier right here and you're going to purchase out, not these headhunting badges like I did, but what you're going to do is buy out these blue tier materials, not everything, 
just the ones that you need to get your first operator to E2, you can come back later on to purchase more for your skills as well as your second operator. So I'm going to need the Ari Ran clusters as well as the polyester. You know what? I'm just going to need everything for my second E2 operator after my AF Ayala for most likely my Silver Ash. And as you keep playing the game and you keep getting the duplicates, whether you're doing the recruitments or the headhunting, you're going to get more of these shard. Whoa, holy crap. These qualifications, you can shard them down into tokens and then purchase these bad boys. Whether it is today or down the road, it's going to be there and you're going to save sanity. So don't forget about this place as well as spending your credits at the credit store. I have six. What the? Anyways, I have these. So I'm going to purchase these yellow tier items as well as the blue tier qualities, especially because they're on sale. Not only that, because I am swimming in credit store currency and you should be too. Make sure your friend list is capped. It's full. If it's not, hop on my discord. And there's a dedicated channel for the Art Knights players, Art Knightsians. I don't even know, but you can post there and add friends. There is a separate channel just for adding friends. So socialize, baby. Get these for free. You're going to save sanity. It's going to add up. Woo! We're now back at the base with my face cam. And here we go. Make sure you have an operator up in there. Not only that elite material handler. So if you remember what I needed from AF Ayala, I need this stuff right here. It is the yellow tier. It's higher than this purple tier. So you need these purple tier materials. And to get the Oriron block, the highest tier, the silver tier, purple tier, whatever you want to call it, you can go farm 5-5, but you're going to lose a lot of sanity. Trust me on that. Don't go over there. In the store, we can purchase the cluster as well as these bad boys, the integrated device, the blue tier, as well as the polyester pack. And depending on how many certificates you have, you're going to unlock this bad boy right there for free. And that is just a small example. Same thing goes with this, the Rock Boys right here. I just realized everything in this game is Ori something, Origami, Ori Rocky. So you can get these from the store as well. Whatever you can get, it's going to save a lot of sanity. Before you dedicate an entire day going back into the earlier chapters and thinking about farming these little boys right here, make sure you get them from the store first. And then after that, check out this spreadsheet. I don't know who made this awesome spreadsheet. There aren't any credits anywhere. What a selfless person, but you guys need to check this link out. I'm gonna hook it up in the video description box down below. But how do we use this? Pretty much you click right here, the individual material farming rates. And if you're a veteran, you're probably thinking, oh, here we go. Zeals is going to give the wrong recommendations, just like other videos out there. And no. I'm not going to, but if you just need one more, if you just need one more of these and you're in a rush, you just can't wait to eat to your operator. If you just want to get one disregarding any sub products that can come out from the map, then this is going to be the best bang for your buck in terms of sanity points. Now, as you can see, there are colors, the blue tier, like I said earlier, the green, as well as the white garbage tier. And there isn't tier four because you need to fuse up the tier threes. So for example, Ori Rock tier three, it is best to farm tier two at stage one seven. And by farming one seven, getting the tier two Ori Rocks and fusing it into tier three, you're going to spend 24 sanity points. Now, if you farmed two four, you're going to spend more sanity. So it's recommended to farm one seven. So should you go into one seven and do this? Listen up carefully. The answer is no if you're thinking about ever down the road making a second E2 operator. And I don't know about you guys, but I plan on making a lot, a butt ton of E2 operators. So what is the best, the most efficient way? Let's go into the rock type. It looks quite daunting, but it's, trust me, it's not hard to understand. So let's look here. Total sanity value for main product. Or we rock, we're in the rock section. So the best bank for your buck is going to be 1-7 if you just want that stupid rock right there because the sanity per run is so stinkingly low. However, we gotta think about sanity just stretching out the sanity for the long run because we're going to eat to another operator down the road and go down the road. So we got three different values here. 
So what you want to focus on pretty much, you can check these out yourself by cracking open the link down below, but it's going to be the purple one. Total sanity value of the map is right here. It's going to be this one right here, as well as this one. The reason why 5-10 and 6-5 are the winners is because of the sanity value. You're getting the most bang for your buck because not only are you getting the rocks, but you're getting other sub products, which ultimately is going to save your time, your sanity and your phone battery and your real life sanity as well. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you smash that like button and we're not finished. We're not done here. So if you are able to clear only 4-6 with your E1 operators, hey, it's what it is. If you cannot progress any further, you checked out my beginner's guide. You checked out the videos with the low star operators, three and the four stars clearing all of chapter four, but you still cannot replicate it. You're stuck at 4-6, then farm at 4-6. Just make sure you are farming at the most efficient place that you can after you E2 your operator and hopefully you pick the right one with the appropriate power spike. You are able to clear chapter five, just blow it out of the park and then farm there for your next E2 operator if you need the rocks. So what I need to do right now is crank these up. I need to get five of these, right? You five and the morale 20. She's gonna get burnt out right here. Boom, 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 boop, 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 boop. All right, it's time. It's time to E2 my first operator on this account, my AF Yala, and let's do that real quick. Actually, we go. We gotta level her up and let me get that. Let me to the dot to the T. Yeah, to the T. Gotta be efficient, right? That's the whole point of this video. To be honest, if I'm playing by myself, if no one is watching, I don't really care. But here we go, guys. Level 80 and it's time to promote AF Yala. Here we go. And the toast. Da -da -da -da. The bam. And you unlock this bay with the rams, not the sheep, the rams. All right. Did you know that she's 80 years old? I didn't know that. She's 145 centimeters. Anyways, guys, are you done? So hopefully you're promoting an operator, spending all this resource and time into an operator that has a very good E2 either talent or skill. For an E2 operator, I highly recommend you take the skill up to level seven. Make sure you give your operator, your first E2 operator, some love. Give us some EXP cards, but don't go too crazy. Like level 30, 40, 50, that's okay. But don't try to like max it out. Don't let that be your mission. That's going to just drain all of your sanity, all of your time. Go work on another operator. Go have some fun with your E2 operator. Go smash things. Now let's talk about some operators I highly recommend that you push to E2 that are just, just broken in this game. First of all, in general, I don't recommend tanks or healers. The best defense is offense. I, I truly believe that in this game. An operator that just, just goes up a notch when she or he goes to E2. So Ifrit, yes, when she goes to E2, she is amazing and all that stuff. However, most people, they are going to use her skill too, right? So just keep her at E1. Same thing with Siege. Siege is fine at E1. And she is a Vanguard. Not that it's bad to E2 your Vanguard, but I don't think it should be your first E2. So what I recommend, if you don't care about the aesthetics, if you're not attached, of course, if I was fully attached to my waifus, I would most likely have gone with Province. I really like her, as well as Scotty. But if you're not going for the appearance, if you're playing this game to blow shit up and that's fun for you, then I highly recommend damage dealers like AF Yala as well as Silver Ash. Silver Ash, when, when skill one and two, they're great and all, but skill three is complete different level. Not only that, he can detect the cloak units with this talent right there, the Eagle Eyes. Not only that, he has this crazy utility, the attack to all your allies as well as reducing the redeployment time. That's insane. But not only that, have you seen his skill three? It just pulsates and it just, it's like, Aquaman, like communicating to the dolphins. I don't know what it is, 
but his eagle or whatever that bird is. Is it a hawk? It has a handkerchief. I don't even know that. But it just pulsates and just wipes clean half the map in front of him. The range is insane. AF Ayala also has that with her skill 3. It doesn't last as long as Silver Ash. It's not 24 seconds. It's 15 seconds. However, the range is just like Silver Ash front and back and hits five targets just like Silver Ash. Not only that, she gets an attack multiplier as well as the haste attack interval reduction. So AF Ayala, Silver Ash, I highly recommend as well as our girl Exia. There are other operators as well if you don't have these three. You can get Angelina up in there. You can get Chen. Just get one. Just get one that will just give you a crazy power spike so that you can go and progress further up in the game and then you can farm your second E2 much quicker, easier, and smarter. So that was today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe if you like Art Knight's content. If you like your boy. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on Discord, on my stream on Twitch.tv. Links down below. I'll see you guys then. Have a good one. I'm out for now. Your boy Zeals. Peace.